Hello modelers, welcome to my video. Today I'll be 3D modeling this soda vending machine. We'll be going through some of the basic blocking, refinement, some texturing, and a little UV unwrapping, and we're going to finish it up with some lighting work. So if you like the video, please be sure to click that like button. It'll help spread the video so others can enjoy it too. Be sure to subscribe for more. Okay, let's jump into it. The first thing we're going to need is a basic cube. Let's scale that, move it down to the ground, and adjust it to its place. That size should work fine. Now that it's blocked, let's do a loop cut. I could have done four, but I did it in two steps. We'll extrude this region out. Inset it a little bit. And extrude it backwards. I want to add some curve to the front half. And this bottom part here will be where the soda dispenses. So let's scale that down to size. Extrude it and inset it. Now we're just going to add a quick subdivide in here. We're going to bring the top half back. So let's extrude it backwards. Somewhere here should be fine. A loop cut around here. And we're going to bring this middle part down. Okay, let's move to the top half now. We're just going to section off the top half into three sections. And this is going to be for our variety selection. Nine buttons. Inset the nine tiles. And extrude them back a little bit. I'm just going to play around with it. Try to make it look like a big chunky button. And then we'll bevel the edges a little bit too. Okay, so this is going to be where the coin dispenser is, rather that the coin acceptance will be. So, inset, scale it down to size. And we're going to move it and tuck it into this corner. Extrude it out a little bit, and add a nice bevel. Subdivide didn't work here for whatever reason, so I'm just going to knife cut it. Let's move this thing down. I just wanted to add a little bit of texture. So extrude that little part out. I'm going to give it a nice bevel too. So on old soda machines, we can put some coins in. Sometimes the machine doesn't work correctly and it just kind of absorbs your money, so I'm going to make that little uh, switch that you've moved so the machine knows to spit out that money and just put back in. Now I thought about adding the spring sort of mechanism right here, but uh, I actually didn't like it, so I removed it. So this will be the coin slot. For whatever reason, I added some weird geometry here, so I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and add our slot in here.
Now I didn't actually like that, so I just redid it. And I'm much more happy with that. So down here at the bottom, this is going to be where the coin dispenser will be for your chain. Same sort of thing goes. We're just going to inset it a little bit, scale it to size, move it to place. Somewhere there should work. So let's extrude that out a bit. Bevel the edges. A nice inset. Shift it, scale it. And extrude it back. We're going to just do that a few times. That way we get some extra lines and geometry. That way we can curve it down. Now let's make the shift. You won't be able to see it from the final angle, but... little texture to that piece. We're going to pull out these two planes here, give it a little bit more texture, add a bit more curve, and set the outside, and scale that in. And there you have it. That's most of the blocking and refinement. So I wanted to make my own graphic and put my own little uh, design on the front. I did it on Photopea, free little Photoshop online. I'm not a graphic designer, but I definitely enjoy the process. So this is what I came up with. I just went and found a color palette that looked juicy. Wrap that, unwrap it, and move it to size here, rather. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Now, I neglected to make more design for the right side, so I had to go back and re-edit the photo P image. But after that was done, it's pretty much just going to be adding some metal, some black, and some color to the vending machine. The tile is going to be black, the surrounding area is gray with a metal, metal accent to it. That part can be black too. Really no rhyme or reason, but so the options, we're just gonna use the same color scheme I used for the logo and design up front. And these nine buttons can be some nice pretty colors that match. I noticed this one I was editing the video, but I actually missed the right side of that button there. Oh well. I can barely tell. So let's select all of these little loops and metallicize them. Bam, that looks crisp. Nah, I wanted a bit more of something up here, so I just made a plane. And then make it metal, and it's gonna be some sort of metallic sticker didn't add any text or anything to it. That's up for your imagination. And we're going to metallicize this little end here a bit too. Yeah, that looks good.
And I just wanted to add a quick little button down here, something illuminating, something with a red light, something that's going to glow. And that pretty much wraps up the vending machine. So let's just do some plane here, that it's not floating in infinite space. Add a quick little light. Let's see what that kind of looks like when it's rendered. I gave it a little purple light, pink light, rather. I ended up changing it to blue. I added three more lights, just three point lighting system. Change the ground plane to blue, the world environment to blue as well, and that wraps everything up. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please give it a like. Subscribe for more. Thank you. Have a great day.